The event glory to praise the Lord of praise God, glory to praise God. Well, that's it. The evangelist uh, Andrew Kelly here with the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, and praise God, the power of God, and salvation to everyone that believes. And praise God, glory to praise God. So we got to start getting in the Bible, start getting in the Word. You know, praise God, that Jesus said, He that believed from me is the Scripture of Satan. And praise God, glory to praise God. So this is the problem out there that man are not believing what the, the say of the Lord. Praise God, Andrew, Andrew Sanford Andrew Kelly with the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, Word of God, Revival. You know, praise God, glory to praise God. And it. So this is the, the problem out there that man are believing what Sunday school says. You know, man are believing another man. Man are believing what the church doctrine says. Man are believing what the scientists say. But not believing what the Scripture says. Jesus says, He that believed from me is the Scripture said. You know, praise God, because the words I speak, their spirit and their life. And the Bible has proven uh, all things. You know, praise God, a long time ago, hundreds of years before man even made the discoveries. So man don't read the Bible for hundreds of years. Man's attitude don't change. They don't want to listen to God. They don't want to read the Bible. They don't want to hear from God. They don't want to hear from Christ. They just want to hear, uh, you know, uh, things that are going to please them, that God loves them, and that uh, say the Hail Marys, and they want to think that they're okay. Well, forget it. No, no liar. No truth is of the lie. And no liar or antichrist is going to make heaven. Praise God. So this is no adulterer, or drunk, or fornicator, or murderer, and sorcerer, and uh, name it. Will enter the kingdom of heaven. So, question for Christ. We have a problem out there uh, with uh, people not obeying the gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. You know, first God, people are obeying. You know what man says. People out there are obeying what uh, whoever down the street says, but they're not, not obeying the gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. First God, you know we got a lot of good God talkers, but not a lot of good son of God talkers. You know, there's got a lot of God talkers. I was just listening to this uh, Charles Stanley, uh, this uh, Joker, a preacher and Antichrist. You know, preaching that. Uh, uh, you know, God the Son, God the Father, like, uh, led us. You know, this guy obviously has to go back to learn, learn some English, what son means and what father means. The son is an offspring of your father, is a child, you know, for God, and the father is a parent, right? So, glory to God. So, Jesus said, whom he has sent. You know, Paul says is that, uh, you know, when he got saved, that he talked about that Jesus Christ being the Son of God, that, you know, that's it, I thank God for Jesus Christ our Lord, you know, that's it, that, uh, uh, the Son of God, Jesus came, who loved me and washed me and cleansed me from all my sins and, and uh, iniquities, and uh, that's it. You no, know, praise God. He count me faithful, put me in the ministry. Praise God. God, God, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, don't put no uh, silly preacher who don't know nothing. You know, from Bible school, he don't put no uh, Presbyterian or Pentecostal minister who don't know nothing and just uh, sit there and uh, like a uh, like a, a wart in a pickle, having no idea what the Bible says, to just know enough Greek and philosophy and uh, so forth and so on to bewitch people, but not enough Bible to teach people to tell them the way, the truth, and life. And praise God, glory, praise God, man. So we gotta get in our Bible, the King James Bible, the Gospel of Christ. You know, praise God. said that uh, in John 7, Jesus says, "He that believe on me as a scripture." I said, "Well, you know, it's, you know, he didn't say he that believe uh, on uh, God the Father." You know, praise God, because Jesus is not God the Father. Praise God, He's the Son of God, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. So, I mean, like when uh, people like that they're on TV, I mean, people are bewitched. You know, that's it. Uh, uh, on the way to Lake. Which Burn for fire brimstone. You know, first God, they got to pull out of it. You know, first God, it's an antichrist. You know, first God, he had the Son of God have life. He had not the Son of God have not life. So this guy don't have no life, period. He's dead as a, uh, you know, as a, a doornail, so to speak. You know, first God, so there you go, Glorious first God, Leah. But uh, they uh, don't, you know, they talk about God's grace, God's grace, God's grace. And people out there talk about God's grace, and they don't even know what the grace, what God's grace is. Well, God's grace went to Calvary. You know, first God, God's grace, his name is Jesus. You know, first God, first God, God's grace is not God. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's who he has sent. You know, first God, Jesus to die on the cross. You know, first God, closer to first God. And it says right here in uh, Titus chapter three, uh, 2, verse uh, 11, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, that we should live soberly, righteously and godly in this present world looking for that hope and uh, blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great god and our savior jesus christ praise god so there you go so praise god you know uh, uh, so you know paul's not sitting there looking for the uh, glorious appearing of uh, the great god uh, our savior jesus christ no and so and because why because jesus said this is that very simple in john 5 it says is that uh, you know said that uh, uh, the trump of God shall sound, and the dead uh, shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and shall live. No, first God, Jesus, first God, first God. So that's it, glory, first God. That's why Jesus said, the words that speak are not mine, but the Father which dwell in me, and he that have my words and keep them, he that is that love me, first God, is it, and they're my Father, and I will uh, love him, first God, glory, first God. Yeah, my commandments, no, first God, and they shall live. No, first God, come to eternal life, first God, so glory, first God. So let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, Colossians 3, uh, 16. The first God of all wisdom and understanding, first God, glory, first God. So, this is it. Uh, we got so many gospel perverts, so many people who are perverting the gospel, but not uh, gospel, um, you know, preachers. You know, praise God. The Paul says you have ten thousand masters in Christ, yet not as many masters. Praise God, glory, praise God. So, we got Sunday school. You know, it's it in the denominations, which are nothing but tares. You know, trying to be a master and trying to rule over people's faith. But uh, as it says in Ezekiel, uh, you know, praise God that uh, when God was talking to the shepherds, you know, that's it. That uh, woe unto the shepherds. You know, that's it. For force and cruelty, you rule over my people, and uh, that's it. And uh, you, the sick, you're not healed. Not, or you uh, 
sought the lost, and I will force for cruelty, have you ruled over them. You know, first God is a clerk, first God. And said, I was in the ministry uh, years ago. You know, first God said, we're with force for cruelty. You're talking about uh, offerings, you know, offerings and offerings for hours and hours. And we don't read that about that in the Bible. You know, first God, yes, we have to, you know, man God uh, asks for offerings. Yes, it's Bible. But we don't go on and on and on and make doctrine of it. Because my Bible says, this is that, uh, had the Lord uh, delayed in uh, uh, burnt offerings and uh, sacrifice then uh, knowledge so praise God glory to God so there you go praise God glory to God we very get knowledge as uh, Proverbs says get knowledge get wisdom get understanding as opposed to you know to getting uh, offerings you know praise God rather see his soul saved as Jesus says there's no more joy in heaven over one soul that repenteth the 99 just sheep that need no repentance you know praise God glory to God so this is the, the thing we got out there is that we got uh, a lot of false teaching a lot of false prophets a lot of false uh, everything but no real teaching no real uh Gospel, no real scriptures, no first God said to yeah, give people eternal life. You know, they just give you John three sixteen like Billy Graham, uh, way out of context, who perverts it, you know, first God to corrupt themselves in it. They, they 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 say that God loves everybody, try to use a past tense. Well, since when do you uh, you use that in an English class? If I went to the teacher and say, Well, I loved that car and meaning I still love it, you know what they'll say? Shh, shh, big X. Why'd you say I love that car or I still love that car? Why do you say we're using the past tense for a present tense? You know, it don't make no sense. So devil has no sense. You know, people have to go back to learn some English. Father is a parent. A son is a child. You know, glory to God are two separate things. You know, glory to God. So there you go, praise God. So this is it. That uh, you know, that the people don't want to hear it. You know, praise God. Say glory to God. So and then praise God. He used to have trouble with that. You know, are you your that, you know, first God used to tell people now, we know through the gospel, through the scriptures, that he had to have the Son of God have life, he had not the Son of God have not life. They all mention honor the Son, honor the Son, and the honor of the Father, so praise God. So people don't want to hear it, you know, first God, especially when the angel told Mary in Luke chapter 1 that uh, he shall be called the Son of the Most High God. He didn't say he shall be called God. So, I mean, these people are, are completely out to lunch, you know, first God, because they don't read the Bible. They, they're, they're bewitched. They've got a strong delusion to believe a lie. The God of this world have lied in their minds. That's the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on some. You know, first God, they're, they're so bewitched that uh, with the word uh, image, you know, praise God, that's it, that's the image of God. Well, he's not God, he's the uh, image, you know, praise God. You take a, a penny or whatever, or he's a representation or an image, you know, praise God, and, and you have an image of the queen. You don't have the queen live on the coin, but you have an image, you have an impression, you have a a, 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 a likeness, a resemblance, you know, praise God, praise God. We don't have the actual queen, but you have a resemblance, you know, praise God. Paul told us uh, that we're conformed to the image of his son in Romans chapter 8, glory to God, and says, the pattern, you know, he used in Timothy chapter 1 to those, all those who believe, praise God, We've got to be a pattern, you know, praise God. So we've got to be a pattern, not uh, an abomination down the street, you know, praise God. So what man are involved with abominations. And I preach so strong against these homosexuals and, you know, these people, the abominations. And look what's happening now. They're flooding and they're drying up a forest and so forth and so on, forest fires and so forth and so on. It's uh, it's just incredible, you know, praise God, glory to I have relatives, uh, the McLean's uh, from a river runs through it, you know, that uh, they uh, write books on forest fires. And, you know, well, that's it, you know, they should be following their cousin, you know, praise God, glory to God. Because then I'll preach and prophesy about forest fires. So they won't, uh, uh, you know, sit, uh, go uh, uh, pour it out. They'll be rich, making money off of uh, books on forest fires and forest fires and forest fires. They won't be able to keep up because when man don't want to live for Christ, when man don't want to do what the Bible says, he'll take away, amen, something that you really love, your forest, your fish, you know, for his God, your uh, rivers, your land, you know, glory to his God, he'll sell them to strangers, to China, to Japan, or whatever, your land, your real estate, your, your rivers, or, you know, sell to these foreign uh, uh you know, properties or whatever, because men out there don't want to live for Christ, and okay, that's it, I'm going to do something that's going to really, uh, you know, knock the wind right out of you, and poof, and there you go, so get rid of your, uh, sell your river, sell to a uh, company, sell to Switzerland or Japan or whatever, to make bottled water and send it out to China or whatever, you know, for God, so, I mean, this is uh, the thing that men out there have no clue, you know, for God, what the Bible says, and they don't want to live for the Bible, they just want to pervert it and go against contrary to the Bible, instead of living for it, you know, for God, for God, that's why, you know, that uh, Jesus said, because, uh, uh, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And of course, he's got these preachers, you know, waxing cold, and they're stopping people from entering heaven because they know that they can't enter themselves. They know that they're not living right, so they want you to enter him because they're not going to enter him. So this is the thing, you know, so they have dominion over your faith instead of having that dominion in the word. They remember his God and that displaying the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, meekness, goodness, temperance, faith. You know, for his God, glory, for his God, sit, you know, for his God. Well, people say to me, why don't you talk about the Holy Ghost? Why don't you talk about the Holy Ghost? Well, that's what I've been talking, you know, for his God, glory, for God, the Holy Ghost, the word, you know, for his God. Jesus said, the spirit of truth, you know, for his God, says the comforter, the spirit of truth, you know, for his God, he's giving you the spirit of truth, the words, you know, for his God, glory, for his God. And the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost came down words, for his God speaking in the Holy Ghost, for his God speaking 
speaking his words, glory to praise God. Just listen to Charles Stanley and what's it like to be in the Holy Ghost? Well, I am, that's what I am right now, praise God in the Spirit. And, and uh, you know, so speak, praise God speaking the truth, you know, praise God, glory to praise God speaking words, you know, glory to praise God. Sit, uh, in the Spirit, you no know, praise God, sit, speaking the words, glory to praise God. And so this is what it is to be in the Holy Ghost, you know, praise God, that, uh, to speak the truth and to do what the truth says and to do what the Bible says, glory to praise God. And that's it. So, you know, so why people don't understand, I talk about the Holy Ghost, why well, I am, I talk about the Holy Ghost, you know, comforter, you know, praise God. And he came down uh, to man and through the word and to tell man to repent, you know, for, to, to uh, turn around, you know, praise God, glory to praise God, sit, because the Holy Ghost is like a tape recorder to what Jesus said. You know, Jesus, you know, uh, gave uh, sermons and doctrines to his uh disciples, you know, first God commandments, I should say, and then uh, in St. Luke, we read that, and in Acts chapter 1, that we read that uh, Jesus had to reteach them all over again, because they seemed to forget, everyone forgot, like after, you know, hanging around three and a half years, all of a sudden they forgot, so Jesus had to come back again and reteach them from uh, Moses and to the prophets to explain who, who he is, you know, first God, because Jesus got a lot of teachings from the Old Testament, first God, and he just uh, put a little twist, expounded them even more, first God, glory, first God, opened up a parable upon a dark heart of saints, so first God, glory, first God, so that's it. So this is it, that uh, uh, people uh, out there, uh, you know, say, praise God, say they're not interested in hearing the truth. You know, praise God, I remember years ago, glory to praise God, I was uh, uh, writing to some Bible uh, preacher who was perverting this truth, and he was so mad at me, he comes back with this uh, email saying, no more epistles. You know, don't forget, you know, praise God, it's a glory to praise God. And then I write, you know, praise God, Paul says, I'll boast my epistles, and I'll write you what that says the Lord. Praise God, glory to praise God. And he says, whether, you know, praise God, be on, uh, uh, you know, praise God, that's it, uh, whether it be on, uh, uh, in a book, or praise God, glory, praise God, or whether it be uh, in mountaintops or on the rooftops, you know, preaching the word, praise God, glory, praise God, is written, you know, glory, praise God, and, uh, you know, praise God, and, uh, teach what's uh, prescribed here, what's uh, taught here, what Jesus uh, taught unto us, praise God, glory, praise God, and I mean, that's it, glory, praise God, I'm not going to teach, you know, uh, what I believe and don't believe, you know, I'm not going to teach Pentecostal that uh, has 20, uh, uh, don't, uh, we believe, and then uh, the rest of you don't believe, forget, no man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, and we become sons of God, those who believe on his name, are not born of the will of uh, man, but the will of God. No glory to praise God. So that's it, praise God. So this is what we got to get into uh, the Bible. Glory to praise God. We've got to stop kidding ourselves, stop playing church, and now we'll start getting into the Bible, the Word of God, the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Praise God. Glory to praise God. That's it. So glory to praise God. So as we're saying earlier, that my cousins, the uh, River Front Street, you know, with forest fires, so that's it. You know, said that uh, you know, prophesy to the south field. You know, burn your trees, burn your vines, burn everything. You know, praise God. So this is what's happening here in Alberta. We got forest fires and forest fires and so forth and so on. Amen. That's it. And my cousins won't ever go uh, penniless. You know. Uh, with me uh, preaching the word, but man don't want it. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. And said, so, amen, praise God. So that's it. No, praise God. So the judgment is uh, God's come down, man, for our, God, our God's consuming fire. Praise God. So, well, His Son Jesus Christ is a jealous God. Glory, praise God. That's why you know, seal up the uh, them that uh, have the mark of God in their forehead. Well, what's that? The word. You know, praise God. The word. You know, praise God. That's it. It's got to be in you. Glory, praise God. How's it house come? Well, when you read, you know, it goes through your brain, into your soul. You know, praise God. Glory, praise God. And said, so glory, praise God. So, you know, praise God. Says, so it goes. Uh, you know, praise God in you. Go, praise God. Glory, praise God. And it's a uh, uh, spiritual eating, praise God, says you're, you're feeding your spiritual body, and then it will uh, affect the appearance of your outward body, because John says, I would that uh, you be in health, even, uh, you know, praise God, that's it, uh, as your soul prospers, praise God, so glory, praise God, so that's it, praise God, there's a lot of people not prospering, you know, so they may be fine athletes, fine runners, fine this, fine that, and they may not have uh, whatsoever, you know, that's it, they may look healthy, you know, but inside in their soul, it's eventually going to come out on the outside, you know, praise God, whether it be 60 years, 50 years, 20 years, 10 years, I don't care when it is, it will eventually come out, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, so this is it, that, you know, praise God, that uh, it will affect their system, you know, praise God, when the soul is not healthy, glory, praise God, it's reality, praise God, the by stress we are healed. Praise God, said, glory, praise God, that Jesus took our sin and nailed to the cross. Praise God, like Christians, they haven't learned how to be free from sin. They still let uh, they have sin dominion over them when the wages of sin is hellfire brimstone. As Stephen said, again, in the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, to learn and find out what it is to be free from sin. And praise God, they know what it is to be in Sunday school and to the sing song service and to the preacher's brunch. And they know what it is to be uh, with Santa Claus, but they don't know what it is to be in Christ. You know, praise God, be joint heirs of Christ by adoption, shown by adoption. Praise God, not shown by a relationship like some funny preachers do have on TV. No, glory, praise God. It's reality. So praise God. So John 7, verse 37. In the last day of the great feast, Jesus stood up and cried, saying, Why is the last day of the great feast? Because that's when the most people show up, you know, the last day. Well, they're going to be there for the last day. I'll be there for the last day for sure, you know, that's it. And uh, most people make an effort to go out to things in the last day, I find, in the post of the. Uh, First day, you know, praise God, that's it. you'll find more in the last day because then it'll be uh, gone again for a year, and so they just want to be a partaker, just be there, and just uh, have a little feel of uh, be part of something. Praise God, so glory to God. If any man first, let him come unto me and drink. Praise God. So any man first, let him come unto me and 
drink. You know, Jesus is not saying that you come on to me and latch on my skin like a bunch of vampires and drink. No, he says in John 6, you know, praise God that, uh, that uh, he should eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, have everlasting life. You know, praise God, this is what we're talking about, Glory God. We're not talking about, you know, uh, latching on like a vampire and start drinking blood, you know, like they have in those uh, Hollywood movies. You know, forget, you know, praise God, if any man thirst, let him come to unto me. And drink, praise God, how drink the word, uh, you know, praise God. Jeremiah, I believe 15 says, Thy words were found, thy words were eaten, and were the rejoicing of my heart. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. So this is it, this, the Son of God says, you know, praise God, if we just come to, you know, God, God the Son, well, there wouldn't be much to drink, because then, I mean, like, uh, heaven might, would be uh, basically uh, uh, be empty, because, uh, you know, that's it, because there wasn't uh, much of their substance. That's why that God sent the Son. You know, praise God is now in the right hand power of God, and, uh, and you know, praise God, the three that bear witness in heaven, praise God, record in heaven, the the Father, you know, praise God, the Word, you know, Jesus, you know, the one that came down, praise God, glory, praise God, no, not God, the Word came down, no, the Word was God's Word, that's what John 1 is saying, and the Word was God, not the Word, not God was the Word, no, the Word was God's Word, you know, praise God, just like in Romans where it says, who's overall, you know, concerning Son Jesus Christ, who's overall God, blessed forever, it's not saying he's God the Father, no, he's saying, who's overall blessed to God, this is what he's saying, it's the old English, uh, again, you know, praise God, but this is uh, what, uh, you know, Jesus said, is that, that the words I speak are not mine, but the Father which dwell in me, why, because the Word was God's words, you know, praise God, the Word was God's words, you know, praise God, so when I tell you that I'll be at the, uh, uh, at the, uh, uh, fire hall at 8 o'clock, you know, first God, 8 p.m., you know, and then first God, and then that's it. Uh, so, Andrew, give me his word that I'll be there at uh, 8 o'clock, you know, first God, 8 p.m. It's not, uh, you know, uh, Andrew, uh, you know, Andrew gave us his word, just like God gave us his word, gave us son, first God. So, you know, he didn't say, uh, you know, we're not saying that the uh, uh, word was, and uh, uh, and uh, Andrew is the word, you know, first God. Uh, so, you say, uh, Andrew, uh, give me his word, or Andrew's uh, word uh, was uh, that, you know, first God says. So, first God, you say, uh, uh, the word was Andrew's you know, uh, or uh, the word was Andrew's word, you know, first God said, uh, you know, first God said, you don't think Andrew is the word, that's what I'm looking for. Andrew is the word, you know, Andrew is the word that says that, uh, no, you know, says that, uh, see, Andrew uh, gave me his word, you know, first God, it's like God gave his word, God sent the son, you know, first God, God sent his word, you know, first God goes, first God, so there you go, first God, you know, you don't say, uh, you know, first God, uh, Andrew is the word, they come, no, so that's it, so it don't make no sense, that's why uh, Christians, that's why it took me a while to understand John 1, but now we understand it, that the word was God's word, that the word was God, the word was God's word, you know, first God, so that's it, because the same thing was with God, so we talked about the testimony of two men, it's true, first God, not the in the same beginning uh, was uh, God, no, was with God, so it was with, you know, praise God. This is the problem Christians said to go back and relearn some English. Go to praise God, means before you pick up a Bible, go learn some English, what, E-D, past tense, and uh, present tense, and, uh, you know, go to God, what Father, Son, you know, praise God, go to God, Holy Ghost means, and what, uh, you know, praise God, is, uh, you know, Christians love to throw at me, I and my Father one. Well, did you read the scripture before? And, you know, my Father, you know, agree up here too? He didn't say, uh, I agree, he said, my Father, so, you know, my my parents, you know, my, my daddy, you know, first God, so, glory to God, and then, uh, I and my Father are one. He didn't say, I'm one, you know, this is, uh, this is it, that, uh, you know, it's not saying, I'm one, but I and, you know, I and, I and, I and, I and, I and, I and, not I'm one, I and my Father are one. So, separation, you know, just like Christians have trouble understanding uh, Matthew uh, uh, 20, uh, 28, there where it says, uh, the baptized in the name, uh, name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. It didn't say baptized in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. No, baptized in the name of the Father and separation and this and that, not this that. You know, left and right, not left right. You know, first God, uh, up and down, not up down, you know, sit so this is what people don't uh, understand about the scripture. They seem to somehow lose the English language and somehow it goes up the window and all of a sudden you get this funny English coming in. That is it's incredible. Glorious first God, Leah. So I mean praise God said Glorious first God Leah said so it says right here that um, that uh, if any man first let him come to me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said. You know, first God, do we believe in on Jesus the scripture have said? Or are we believe in on because we heard some funny preacher who baptized the people as a baby, which is abominable abomination because the Bible says he that believes in is baptized, you know, first God the same shall be saved. But are we believing on Jesus the scripture said? No, we're not believing on the scripture said. We're just hearing what man has to say and we're associating the Bible with the church and doing the wrong things instead of associating the Bible with Jesus. You know, first God, the Bible says come out from among them. But you see that the uh, man have it all mixed up, all messed up because they're uh, associating the Bible with church instead of associating the Bible with the truth, glitch, first God. So that's it. My ministry, the Word of God, uh, revival. Well, I always preach and teach the truth. You know, first God, tell you the truth. My first God, so glitch, first God. So we're told to come out from among them, first God, because Jesus never got his uh, disciples from the church. He got fishermen, uh, tax collectors, and uh, so forth and so on. You know, from uh, wherever, but he never got them from uh, the 
the uh, uh, church, no question. He said, so this is the thing, no first guy. He hath believed on me as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. No first God, out of his belly, praise God says, out of his belly, glory praise God. And so that's it, shall flow rivers of living water, praise God. So when you preach this word, in season, out season, you know, we're instant, like fast and instant coffee, you know, glory praise God's reality, glory praise God, you know, it comes right out of it, flows right out of you, true, so those, the word God flows, you know, praise God, thy words were written, and, you know, praise God, that's it, that, uh, said glory praise God says, so there you go, so that's it, that, uh, now we're just, uh, now we're just, uh, in a sense, uh, now we want to say, bombed up sweet words, we're just, uh, you know, it's it, uh, phew, it's coming out, you know, it's it, the cows out, like, you know, phew, phew, you know, that's it, and it's coming out, sweet words, the words of the gospel, praise God says, now coming up, like burp or, 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 or and it's just phew, and it's going to come out and it's going to do something. It's not return to boy. Praise God, it's the glacier. It's going to We're not going to uh, vomit like, you know, like throw the, uh, throw the toilet or whatever, or, or vomit like uh, like uh, the south that's the wild matter, but now we're just going to, you know, throw you uh, uh, words. You know, praise God, said, well, you know, throw up, or they say throw up, well, we're throwing up words. You know, praise God, goes vomit or throw up. You know, praise God, said, we're throwing up. You know, praise God, words. We're not throwing up the world to you. We're not throwing up a dinner for you. We're not throwing up a party for you. We're not throwing up a church social or a, or a Sunday school doctrine or whatever. No, we're throwing up, you know, praise God, the words. You know, praise God, that's it. The divine, the word of God, and truth and righteousness. Uh, truthfully and righteously and telling you what the Bible says. No, not many people are interested in that. Uh, a lot of people uh, don't have no interest in the Word, no interest in the Bible. They just have interest in uh, wherever down the street. You know, praise God for so forget. Galatians, praise God. You guys get interest in the Bible. Praise God. Galatians, praise God. So that's why that the Gospel of Christ is the power of God and salvation to everyone that believes. Praise God. He that believes on me as the Scripture said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Praise God. Have praise God. But this he speak of in the Spirit when they which believe on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. No, praise God, said, God, Jesus, God, Jesus, you know, before he uh, went to the cross, you know, praise God, he promised them the comfort, the, the Holy Ghost, you know, praise God. Back in the days, you know, that's it, David had the Holy Spirit, there were people who had the Holy Ghost, you know, a few people, you know, praise God, like Samuel and the, the apostles of old, you know, praise God, said, God, the Spirit of God would come on them, you know, praise God, said, God, praise God, but, uh, you know, praise God, they weren't at all, it wasn't all uh, open like this today, you know, praise God, Jesus came and gave us the promise of the Comforter, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, and that's it, and that, um, that uh, we go on and, and do what the Bible says, glory, praise God, so that's it, praise God, so, uh, that's it, so glory, praise God, so uh, this is why that, uh, we got to get in the Bible, praise God, so glory, praise God, so, uh, when uh, Jesus talked about the Comforter, you know, praise God, that's it, that, uh, uh, that, uh, uh uh, it's going to uh, reprove, and it says right here that uh, John uh, 16, verse 7, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient that I go away, for if I go not away, the comforter I, uh, will not come unto you, but if I depart, I will send him unto you. Praise God. So like a tape recorder, he's going to give you the message. You know, praise God, read, you know, remember the things that are taught unto you. Praise God. Praise God. It's, uh, you know, praise God, it's easy to forget for three and a half years following somebody, uh, what they said, and then all of a sudden Jesus had to come reteach them, and then, uh, you know, and then you'll forget uh, some of it, so the comfort finally came. And that's it, it's better than a tape recorder, you know, glory to God, and that's it, glory to God, and praise God. So, nevertheless, to tell you the truth, is being that I go away for, if I go now away, the comforter will not come unto you, but if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin, of righteousness, and judgment, of sin because they believe not on me, of righteousness because they go unto my Father, and ye see me no more, of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. You know, praise God, so glory to God, so that's it, the prince of this world is judged, you know, praise God, so Jesus is going to be judged, you know, praise God, so glory to God, and sit the prince of this world is judged, praise God, so there you go, so praise God, so that's why that uh, Jesus, you know, praise God, that's it, uh, uh, you know, praise God, uh, they're always judging Jesus and his word, praise God, righteousness, because I go to my Father and you see no more, a judgment because the prince of this world is judged, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now, praise God, they're going to judge him, you know, praise God, that's it, you know, praise God, judgment, because the prince of this world is judged, you know, that's it, that, uh, it's going to reprove the world of judgment, of unrighteous judgment, because they've uh, judged Jesus, you know, they judged him, where they definitely did nothing wrong, but the fulfilling of the scriptures, praise God, glory praise God, people aren't judging the devil's ways, people are all, aren't speaking against the devil, you know, the devil likes it, you know, when the people speak against Christ, and speak against his word, you know, praise God, they're judging, you know, the word, and they're, and they're putting down the word, and so forth, and so on, and so so this is it, you know, praise God. But everybody has to face the judgment seat of Christ. You know, praise God, glory to God. That's what the Bible says. You know, praise God. So they're not going to all, all uh, going to get away with uh, things that uh, so easy. You know, praise God, glory to God. So that's it. So praise God. So you know, that he that believes on me is the Scripture. I said, glory to God. Yeah. Well, that's it, praise God. So, so I mean, like uh, uh, that's it. So praise God. So that's. Uh, 
the scripture said, I mean, the Bible says it said, all those who uh, uh, who have not known God nor uh, or have turned away from the Lord, well, that's it, praise God, or, 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 you know, turn away from Jesus, turn away from the Lord, and that's it, they're going to be judged as well, praise God, so that's it, glory to God, so it's going to come back, they're going to judge those people, I know, praise God, said, but the judgment for those people out there in Easter Island, you know, praise God, who didn't know anything but build these dumb idols, didn't know anything, you know, any better, no uh, whatever, didn't have a Bible in hand, or like Psalm and Gomorrah, we're going to get off lighter, because Jesus said it will be more tolerable in the day of Psalm and Gomorrah for judgment, it will be for you guys, because Psalm and Gomorrah never had a Bible, but if we're having a Bible, what are we doing? We're absolutely making Hate the of it, praise God. We're judging it. We're calling it an unclean thing. You know, praise God. I said the, we call it hate speech. I was on the internet yesterday and I was preaching. You know, praise God, because I said this that the, the, that man called the Bible hate speech when it goes against their abominations, it goes against their darkness, or it goes against their ways, it goes against their uh, uh, false uh, doctrines, it goes against the truth, their truth. You know, praise God. Instead of uh, doing what the Bible says, you know, praise God. So it goes against their ways instead of. Uh, Doing with, with the Bible says, the man coming to the Bible, when God Father says, oh, My ways are not your ways, so the heaven is higher than the earth, so my ways are not your ways. You know, if it's got men are going against the Bible, and they call it hate speech as soon as they expose their abomination. You expose the homosexuals or the sodomites, you expose the whoever down the street, the Muslims, and then all of a sudden it becomes a hate speech. You know, if it's got, but uh, as soon as you endorse them and endorse these uh, buzzers, you know, they say all of a sudden uh, it's, it's no longer hate speech. Well, my Bible says is that, uh, that uh, they too are worthy of death, no only pleasure in them that do them, but also them, those same people. That uh, who uh, who do, who does them and uh, that's it and pleasure in them that do them you know praise God that's it glory praise God so that's it a pleasure you know, that's it who will stand up for them. and praise God those people who stand up for the homosexuals you know it says these people may not be homosexuals so to speak but they're standing up for the homosexuals they're thinking it's all right because it's the 21st century and so forth and so on well they too are worthy of death you know because they're going to be judged the same way you know praise God it's, it's reality you know glory praise God that's why that Jesus came and said you're clean for the words that I've spoken on you to clean to repent you believe the gospel and it said to give up all that trash give up all that filth because man loved the darkness more than the light instead of uh, believing the gospel. Praise God, glory, praise God, reality, glory, praise God. So this is it. So, you know, praise God, uh, amen, glory, just praise God, amen, hallelujah. So this is it. That man loved the darkness more than the light. You know, praise God, I was uh, preaching yesterday and people don't want to hear it. You know, praise God, and like I said, they call it hate speech. You know, praise God, well, that's it. It's in the bookstores. You know, praise God, it's, it's in the bookstores longer than USA Today, longer than Edmonton Journal or Globe and Mail or Toronto Sun or whatever Sun. You know, praise God, it's uh, longer than, uh, uh, than the Kansas City News or whatever they got down there in the States. So, I mean, I don't know. Uh, uh, Montana, whatever, no glory, praise God, and forget it. No, praise God, it's uh, the King James Bible has been around longer, and then praise God, uh, longer than uh, uh, than anything else. No, praise God, glory, praise God. So, longer before North America was started, it's found in the bookstores, it's found in the libraries, it's all public knowledge, it's all out there, as much as the newspaper is out there. You know, praise God, it's reality, glory, praise God, archived, and everything, praise God, so glory, praise God, says, so glory, praise God, so they call it hate speech, and then they got to water down the Bible, the King James Bible, they got to put an NIV, a uh, phony Bible, New Age Bible, perverted scriptures, you know, a new King James, and the uh, NIV, and the New American Standard, and the, this standard, New Century, and this version, that perversion, all this, and all this stuff, uh, because man did not want to believe the King James, and Paul says not to be, you know, uh, troubled by spirit or by letter as from us, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, said because it's not our us writing the letters, it's somebody else who's just darkening them and just uh, changing the scripture and changing the word around instead of doing what the Bible says. Because man don't want their self exposed, you know, praise God, it's and glory, praise God. Uh, I mean, I was preaching. Uh, there was a, a March for Jesus parade yesterday in Calgary, and they come up on my Facebook page and they say, uh, you know, all the time that uh, <coughs> I mean, it says uh, that, uh, you know, that March for Jesus. Well, I said, you know, where's this in the Bible, March for Jesus? You know, Christ has to be marching new. Paul says, Christ has made hope of glory. Praise God. My words to buy new. Praise God. Said, glory praise God. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Man, let me keep my commandments, sir. My Father and I will buy new. Praise God. Glory praise God. So, I mean, we got to march for, you know, the Son got to be marching in you, not marching for Him. You know, people are so bewitched and side set and upset and ups and downset, you know, praise God, because they're all marching for Jesus, all marching for whatever, you know, praise God. So they're all not marching for, you know, praise God, to, uh, you know, let Christ's words march in them. You know, my Bible says, order my, order thy Order my steps in the world, not order my steps in the world, and order my steps in the word. You know, I said not in the world, so sorry, I meant to, I was, uh, got to have myself there. You know, order my steps in the word, not order my steps in the world. You know, praise God, that's what the world is doing. Order their steps in the world instead of ordering their steps in the word. I mean, praise God, it's reality. And the carnal mind is sin and death. Friend of the world is enmity toward God. Glory to praise God, it's reality. Praise God, man. So, man, so when Jesus said in John chapter 7 there, you know, praise God, he that believed on me, uh, as the scripture has said, you know, praise God, said, Amen, first time come to me, drink. You know, praise God. He that believe on me, as the scripture said, the eldest belly shall flow what? Rivers of living water. Praise God, glory, praise God. Well, what is the drink? You know, praise God. Let's look in John 6, what Jesus said. You know, praise God, said, glory, praise God. And said, so, Jesus uh, said, this is at uh, John 6, he says, this is at, uh, 
Verse 53, Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I send you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. First God, so glorious God. And again, in John 7, you know, first God, amen. First time come to me and drink, you know, first God, so that's it, first God, so eat his flesh and drink his blood, ye have no life in you, praise God. So you have the Son of God of life, you have not the Son of God of not life, praise God. So you don't have His words, you don't have life, praise God. Thy words were found, thy words were written, and rejoiced in my heart. You know, my Bible says in Hosea to take with you words, you know, praise God. Not to just sit there like a wart in a pickle in some dead church somewhere. No, you got to take with you words, glory to praise God. Then. Whoso will eat of my flesh and drink of my blood hath eternal life. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I, and I, the Son, in him. Not I, God the Father, I, the Son, Jesus Christ, in him. As the living Father hath sent me, not as I sent me, the living Father sent me, and I, again the Son, live by the Father, so he that leadeth me shall he even uh, live by me. No, praise God. So this is what the problem we have with, with uh, those uh, uh, people out in Texas, is because this is that, uh, uh, that, uh, I live by far, so he that eateth me, and even he shall live by me. They're not living by Christ. That's why they're being flooded. You know, as the Bible says in Job, that he'll send the rain for righteousness, correction, you know, praise God, and uh, for uh, uh, righteousness and uh, uh, correction, you know, praise God for mercy, you know, praise God for his land's sake, you know, praise God, that's it for correction. You know, there's so many people endorsing the homosexuals out in Texas and endorsing this and endorsing the filth. And, 300 people drowning, 600 people drowning, and, and I've had people write back to me saying, well, I'm a Christian, I, I believe in God in Texas, so shut up and all this stuff. Well, you know, I've been a Christian, so you care to elaborate Well, I'm down here in Texas. Well, it's because you're filth, you know, clean up, you know, praise God said, so get rid of your sin, get rid of your abominations, you know, praise God, get in the King James Bible, start living from it. Not just believe in Him, you know, believing in Him, you know, praise God, so start reading the Bible, as Jesus says right here, you know, praise God, this is that, uh, uh, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me, you know, for his God, glory for his God, by me, you know, for his God, sick, glory for his God, because Jesus said that the uh, words which I speak unto you are not of myself, but the Father which dwelleth in me, for his God, so this is what uh, people are so bewitched, you know, they, uh, when Jesus said is that uh, he has seen me, you know, the Son, he's seen me, he's seen the Father, he's not saying he has seen me, I'm God the Father, he's not saying that, no, he's seen me, I'm you know, see the Father. If you read John 15, in the beginning it says, uh, In my Father's house there are many mansions. Not in my house. So, I mean, first God, you start reading the whole chapter, then you understand what he's talking about. But you see, you just pick and choose like a cafeteria. And when Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, in Matthew 4 4. But here, you know, first God, this is, this is that, uh, uh, so he, he shall live by me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth this bread shall live forever. Praise God. What's this? The word. Praise God. You know, praise God. You know, Presbyterians and Catholics and uh, Jehovah Witnesses and Mormons and all them funny uh, uh, Protestants, uh, religions out there and uh, Christophians or whatever, you know, Episcopalians or whatever, you know, they're, they're, they're not at all living by you know, the faith of the Word of God nor eating by the bread. You know, praise God. They're, they're living by what man has to say out there, what the Salvation Army has to say, what so forth and so on has to say, what the preacher down the street has to say. But the preacher down the street don't tell you to live by. You know, praise God, the Son of God, by His Word, to read in your Bible, to get in your Bible, read your Bible, start believing your Bible, and have only the King James Bible, and that's a good dictionary with you. Not to read the, my 20 volume uh, books on the Bible, you know, where the preacher's got BA and, uh, or a PhD uh, to uh, in divinity to bewitch people. Forget, you know, praise God, I'm a particular divine teacher. Well, I have to go and get a divinity when I'm a particular divine teacher. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, it's reality, glory, praise God. It's this reality that the man out there, you have no clue what the Bible says and not interested uh, in, 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 in what the Bible says. But uh, Edith, uh, me, the bread shall live forever. You know, God, so glory, God. Now, um, now, then the people didn't like this. Now, I was saying, okay, well, we don't like this. And this is this is this guy's absolutely off the rocker. He says these things are. Uh, they say in the uh, synagogue in the Capernaum. When many heard this, they said, "This is a hard saying. Who can hear it?" You know, said, I mean, like, uh, who can uh, live this way? It's too straight. You know, for his God, they said, "Well, Jesus, this way is straight and narrow. Brought the gate. You know, for his God, it's too straight. You know, for his God, just like you told them, Elijah, the man of God, it's too straight here. We can't live this way. It's too straight here. It's too strict here. You know, so far I can't go out and, and have my booze with the boy and uh, and and and, 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 and uh, dinner with the boys and uh, and, and drinking and, and, and my booze and my and, and whatever and have fun with the boys and, and rob a bank after. You no, know, you know, this is this is uh, too straight. And this is what the problem is." With 
man, they don't want to continue on with the grace of God. They don't want to continue on. They just uh, want to go through the broad way, which leads to death, death and destruction, the hellfire brimstone. You know, sit, you know, praise God. They want to listen to these funny preachers of saying that once saved, always saved. Well, it's not what Jesus said, you know, praise God. He says, he says that uh, uh, he that eateth me, uh, even he shall live by me. So when you're out there in the world robbing the bank doing whatever, you're not living in need by him, are you? You know, glory to God. So this is a this is it. So this is why that uh, you know I tell these people these buzzards, these once saved always saved. You know, since they're trying to tell me that you once saved always saved, and you're trying to tell me I can rob a bank and uh, you know uh, murder some people and uh, uh, steal some cars and uh, do whatever under the sun, but I don't have to worry about a thing because I'm always once saved always saved. You know, that's it. I mean, uh, they don't even read Acts chapter five. You know, praise God. They don't even understand John chapter ten. They try to base their scripture on John chapter ten. Try to say that well, no man shall pluck you out of my hands. Well, what about the devil? Did he die? The Lord, that was the warring lion seeking whom he made devour. I mean, first God, I mean, he's transformed as an angel of light. You know, first God, so I mean, did the devil die or something? You know, this is what these people forget. Yes, uh, no man can say, well, pluck you out of his hands. But what about the devil? I mean, first God, he's there to steal the words, so in people's hearts. He's not there to, to, to look pretty. You know, first God, said he's there to because he's a jealous devil and he doesn't like you knowing what you hear today. This is the word of God. They don't want, he doesn't want you to hear the word of God. He wants you to hear all sorts of things, all sorts of pervert things, all sorts of pervert uh, preachers and gospel preachers preaching uh, lies instead of preaching the truth. You know, praise God. Jesus said, the truth you shall know and the truth shall make you free. You know, praise God. Glory to God. So no lies, but the truth. You know, praise God. No lie is of the truth, John says. Glory to God. This is a murder from the very beginning and a liar murder from the very beginning. God. So, you know, God. so when Jesus knew himself, his disciples murmured at it. He said unto them, Does this offend you? You know, Jesus knew what was in man. Glory to God. Week two, you know, as Paul says, that the gift of spirit you know, was given us uh, discernment and uh, all types of offices, gifts, you know, miracles, and uh, talked in tongues and discernment of tongues and uh, diverse kinds of tongues and interpretation of tongues, I should say. Uh, you know, praise God, miracles and uh, uh, discernments and uh, discerning spirits and uh, all sorts of. Uh, you know, well, now we have to exercise those gifts. No, glory to God. That's it. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit nothing. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Praise God. So, I mean, the words I speak, you know, praise God. I was talking to a lady last night, and she says, Oh, we don't judge people uh, according to uh, what uh, they do or pray or so forth and so on. No, uh, you know, that's it. Uh, they judge themselves on worthy of everlasting life. You no, know, first God, that's it. You know, or they say, or, you know, we don't judge. No, but they judge themselves. No, first God, glory to God. We just preach it in the Bible. You know, first God, the full judgment of God. If you don't want to preach the Bible, live by bread alone and do what the Bible says, well, forget it. You know, first God, you might as well go play the violin. You know, first God, because it's not going to do you any good. First God, glory to God. You don't want to preach judgment. You know, first God, Jesus had to preach judgment. He had to judge people. Woe unto you, Scott's Pharisees and hypocrites. He didn't say, hey, hey, brother. No, he said, woe unto you. I mean, Paul called the uh, 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 the sorcery, Elimus, you know, uh, thou child of the devil, wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord in the book of Acts? You know, he didn't say, uh, thou, hey, brother, you know, he said, thou child of the devil, wilt thou not cease? Wilt thou not cease? No, praise God, glory to God. So, that's it, praise God. So, there you go, wilt thou not cease? No, praise God, to pervert the right ways of the Lord, glory to God. So, that's it, praise God. Uh, praise God, glory to God. So, that's it, that, uh, you know, praise God, says, so this is it, that, uh, you know, what the Bible says right here, that, um, it is the spirit, uh, you know, praise God, uh, the quickness and the flesh profit nothing. The words they speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You know, praise God. This is what, you know, speaking spirit in their life, praise God. It's the word that man has to uh, go by because the word, the truth shall set them free. You know, praise God. The word is going to set man free. The word is going to, you know, praise God, to help man, praise God. Not God. People are depending on God like a butler and he's not doing anything because he's not at all. Do it. He's, they're going to do it because people refuse to get into his word. You know, praise God. So they get into his word, they work with his son. And then, praise God, God and God the Father will work with you, praise God. So glory, praise God. But he's not going to work with his son, work with his word. Well, he's not going to do nothing for you, praise God. He's just going to be sitting there on the sidelines. And uh, that's it. Man going to be judging himself on word of everlasting life. You know, praise God, Jesus is not going to condemn you. God's not going to condemn you. And not even the devil will condemn you. I mean, that's the good news. Whew. Well, it's, you know, it's, uh, they're glad they won't condemn me. No, but you condemn your own selves. You judge your own self. And Paul says, you judge yourself unworthy. And Paul never said, you know, the devil judge you or God judge you. No, you judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life. So, glory to God. So, this is why uh, we have to get in the Bible, start reading our Bible, start being obedient to the gospel, and stop being uh, bomb, a bombo, stop being whatever in the world, and start doing what the Bible says. Glory to God. So, glory to God. So, just... Uh, you know, praise God, going along here. And then, uh, praise God, to verse 16, Simon, uh, then uh, Jesus said to 12, we also go away. So the people in the synagogue disappeared. And now I'm uh, left with 12 uh, disciples. And then uh, eventually those 12 disciples uh, are going to become uh, 
uh, nothing because uh, no more uh, anymore because uh, Jesus will go to the cross and he says, oh, you shall be offended this night. You know, and Peter, you know, all of a sudden uh, being the wise ones decide to go against Christ. No, oh, everyone's going to be offended, but not me. Hey, Jesus said, hey, Peter, did I not say all? And he's just like talking to say some of these uh, preachers that Jesus got. Did, did I not say son? You know, I didn't say father, I said son. He had believed on me, and he had believed on God. You know, he had believed on the son. As the scripture said, for God, so God says, God says, people, you know, it's absolutely uh, backward. You know, just like Peter was, God backward. You know, it said that, uh, you know, it said that Peter, you know, said they started listening to Peter, the disciples believed Peter, and he says, likewise said they all. And then Jesus said, hey, you know, I said, uh, listen, uh, forget it, Peter, you're going to uh, deny me first, and the cock was called twice, for God. How many people out there say, well, Peter sinned because he did that? Well, the Lord told him, not the devil. Who told you to do that? You know, the Lord, because, you know, uh, Jesus told him to do it when the Lord told him to do it. Because why? Because, you know, it's in those scriptures that Jesus went to the cross alone by his stress for a heal for his God, said, for his God, and they said that he was crucified, you know, for his God, and said to you, you know, said that, uh, you know, with Peter, you know, that's in their disciples, you know, Jesus said, uh, okay, come on, Peter, then uh, he would be the crucified with the other disciples, and that would be fulfillment of the scriptures. So this is it. So glory to God. This is why that uh, you know it's why we read here in the Bible. Praise God. Glory to God. We also go away. Saint Peter answered, "Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life." You know, praise God. Glory to God. We believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Praise God. So Saint Peter says, so, "Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life." He didn't say you are eternal life. You have the words of eternal life. Praise God. This is why that Jesus, when we're getting back here in John chapter seven, and he says, "Is that if any man first them come to me and drink." You know, praise God, how they praise God, my words, because my flesh is drink. You know, praise God, you serve my flesh and drink my blood. Have everlasting life, praise God, Liam. Praise God, so, you know, believe on me, as the scripture said, I was belly shall flow, rivers of living water. And this is what happens when you preach the word, shh, rivers going to come out, shh, living water, the words. You shall not return unto me void. We're going to plant seed. You know, praise God, the word in Luke 11, the word is the seed. You know, praise God, go to God, we're going to plant the seed people, and that's it, praise God. Where are they here for a bear? At least they know that they're prophet around. At least now they heard it, and they have no excuse. And he often uh, been reproved hard enough his neck. Shall suddenly be destroyed that without remedy in Proverbs 29. You know, glory to God's reality. So, glory to God. So, this is uh, uh, the uh, reality of the this uh, whole thing, you know, praise God, glorious God, and that's it, I mean, that's why that, uh, praise God, glorious God, came out of the Presbyterian Church, at one time, I wanted to be a Presbyterian minister, but praise God, glorious God, God, they told me, nope, you know, that's it, that uh, you're, you're, you're not good enough for a Presbyterian minister, you know, I said, I don't want you to be a Presbyterian minister, it's not good enough for that, I want you to be a son of God, I want you to be a preacher, I want you to be the evangelist, I want you to preach my word, I want you to go out there and preach every word that proceeded out of this book, the King James Bible, the Gospel of Christ, you remember God, because Presbyterianism is too wise, because they got their own Greeks and Hebrews and philosophies and theologies and so forth and so on, and I don't want you to be one of those wise men, Andrew, I want you to preach my word, I want you to be my fool, you remember God, you're the foolish thing in the world, I need to confound the wise, you know, God, personal cerebral palsy, and now cerebral palsy, healed by a stretch for healed, you know, for God, that's it, and now uh, we are, uh, you are going to be the one that's going to preach this word, you know, praise God, you're going to be the wise one, you know, praise God, to preach uh, the word, you know, praise God, the, the way I want you, you know, praise God, said, they're going to call you the wise guy, wait, some sort of wise guy, you're going to preach from the Bible, well, that's it, if I was some sort of a uh, uh, preacher preaching from Greek, and uh, go back to the original Greek, and find out this word, and that word, and so forth, and so on, well, then, I mean, like, uh, they wouldn't say anything, but because I preached from the Bible, and that's it, uh, now, I was saying, I said, I'm, a, I'm a fool for the, uh, for, uh, you know, for Christ, and now, praise God, and, uh, I'm a fool for man because they think that, uh, you know, they say, unless they have a Greek and Hebrew and philosophy, philosophy I, I don't know anything. Well, according to uh, Acts chapter 2, uh, Peter and uh, John, they were ignorant. You know, for it's got man of Galileans, you know, ignorant, uh, unlearned men, knowing not letters. And how these men know our language and so forth and so on. Well, you know, so Peter came up and said, hey, you men of, uh, you know, you, you rulers here, you know, this is it, that, uh, that uh, Jesus whom you crucified, Lord and Christ, you know, and uh, have uh, given uh, us his power. You know, for it's got, we were with him all the time and, uh, and he was preaching to us, you know, uh, forgiveness of sins, casting out demons, and, and uh, healing the sick, and uh, raising the dead, and so forth and so on, and, uh, you know, doing miracles, you know, praise God, whom we crucified, Lord in Christ, and now, praise God, is now given unto us, because Jesus promised us, and praise God, he promised us the comforter, and praise God, this is why we're here, and that's why they, they couldn't resist, uh, you know, said the, the words they're speaking, they're bold, you know, praise God, so they're very bold, hallelujah, praise God, but we got to be at the bottom of the Bible, you know, praise God, so they're very bold, you know, praise God, I've been kicked off Facebook, but I'm rejoicing, you know, praise God, when I get kick, kick, kicked off there, because the Bible says to rejoice, you know, praise God, if, uh, you're persecuted. Uh, for my name's sake, praise God, glory God. People, you know, praise God, are not rejoicing. You know, praise God, they're sad. You know, they, they don't have a million dollars in their pocket. They're sad because they're not winning the lottery. They're sad because they don't have enough colors, enough booze, enough 
drugs and of marijuana. And man, I was uh, on the internet there preaching about presenting by living sacrifice. And I was telling that uh, man out there, you know, that uh, when they uh, want to use plants as, uh, to uh, kill themselves, that's it, you know, make marijuana or hemp or whatever uh, to make rope out of, not to go and kill yourself. And if he's got to smoke it up and kill yourself and uh, kill your lungs, and that's it, you know, turn up less into a cursing. If he's got yes, it, uh, herbs and uh, trees and seas are there, you know, for his God, but then, uh, you know, glory for his God, but then are they there to kill you or are they there to give you life? You know, for his God says, how you, how you use it, for his God, glory for his God, and say, glory for his God. So you're going to use marijuana to smoke it? Well, God's going to curse you with uh, all types of uh, uh, diseases and cancers and all sorts of uh, sickness and uh, all sorts, sorts of, because the soul is unhealthy and man will fulfill their flesh because the word of Christ does not fulfill them. You know, for his God, glory for his God. So they haven't been eating, they, 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 their soul's hungry, so they're just trying to fulfill it. They're trying to find a Snickers bar instead of looking for uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the Bible. They're just trying to find a bandage instead of uh, eating a full course dinner instead of eating a branch. You know, for his God, it's like being in, uh, stuck in the desert for 30 days. You know, for his God, uh, Jesus was there for 30 days and 30 nights. And the devil tried to tell him, hey, you know, turn this stone into bread. You know, so you make a bandage solution for your hunger. You know, this is what Jesus said, hey, it's written. And I mentioned I live by Rome, but by everywhere the pursuit of God. God. Praise God. This is what we got to have. Not just bandage solutions of preacher books. You know, praise God, which do nothing anyways. You know, praise God, that's it. Uh, you know, praise God, that's it. Uh, you know, uh, the devil, you know, sit, uh, you know, uh, that, uh, you know, try everything on Jesus. And Jesus said, no, it's written, praise God, because we got to have the solution, and that is the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Praise God. We don't have the solution in the Word of God, the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. And then, praise God, forget it, then we have nothing. You know, go to Jesus. God. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. Praise God. You know, praise God. So, I mean, that's it. That, uh, uh, you know, praise God. So, I mean, that, uh, you know, first God, so this is it, that, uh, you know, it's, that uh, Jesus, you know, was hungered, and I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, he was tempted of the devil, you know, first God, we're all tempted as we are, yet without sin, you know, first God, yet without sin, and we too could be tempted, and the Bible says, blessed man, that endures temptation, not does temptation, that endures temptation, first God, glory to God, so this is it, this is the thing that, uh, that uh, reality that the man has to get into is the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. You know, first God, start reading the Bible because there's so many diverse things out there. Uh, people without the mind of Christ, that the mind of the devil, the mind of the world. You know, first God, it's a program to serve the world, you know, serve the sin, serve the abominations. You know, it's reality. You know, glory to God, that uh, fulfilling the scriptures because man don't want to listen and the scriptures are being fulfilled and man want to know why this is happening to them and yet they're being abominable to God. So glory to God, well, my way is not your way, said the Lord. Glory to God, people don't like me giving warning. Well, that's it. Not too bad. So sad. It's already written. Glory to God. And sits and praise God. Jesus preached was written to the devil. He said, it is written. You can go on with some philosophy book called the Tiel of the Pharisees or the Sadducees. And, uh, uh, well, the Greek says here, and uh, and uh, this devil, no, he went on to say what is written. Praise God. And this is what we're doing in my ministry, the Gospel of Christ, Word of God revival. Glory to God. We're going on to what is written in this Gospel. And then praise God, the King James Bible. Praise God. We're not going on with Sunday school because we're there, one unity, uh, one faith. And then praise God, one accord. Glory to God. And so that's it. Praise God. So get the Bible, the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's Evangelist Andrew Kelly telling you, read your Bible.